Hello, today I am um, reviewing a new watch and it's a smart watch and my son who's almost 11 likes it, he wears it and um, he's using the little stylus to do some different capabilities with the watch. And he's going to turn it on and go through some of the features with it. Well, first of all, once you get it, most of the time the time will not be set to the correct date, so you have to go to time. Set date and time and change it in military time to whatever the date is. There are also some games on, on this watch such as Sudoku or puzzle games. Another thing is that it shows how, how many footsteps you've had and how, how many distance you've walked in meters and how many calories you've burned. Can you change it to miles for meters? I haven't discovered that yet. Okay. Uh, will it not save the time? Like if you set the time, will it save the time of day for the next time you log in? If you keep yes. it charged, mm -hmm. but if it runs down the battery, it, it, you'll have to reset it? No, I don't believe so. Okay. I think it stays at the correct time the whole time. Okay. You also have Facebook, Twitter, Skype, so things a normal phone would have. It can also uh, connect to Bluetooth, with a, and there's a calculator in it. And for a flashlight, you click Torch, and it works. Okay, let's see. Let me show the camera. Oh, that's cool. It's a little torch flashlight. I see there's music, too. Mm -hmm. You can make calls by clicking this button. It shows the calls you've Which made. Which button? The button on oh, this okay. side. Very good. It shows the calls you've made. And the missed calls. And every call. And received calls. There's also a camera to where you can take a picture. It. Oh, very good. You click this button just uh, to get to the home menu right here. Okay. And there's music on it. It has a calculate. It has a calendar. There's a stopwatch too, if you want to time yourself or someone else. It. And a lot of the times the pen won't work, so you have to go to calibration. Click on there and click where it wants you to click and for a bit, and then you're good. Oh, that's cool. I think the hardest part is not losing the pen. Mm -hmm. um, for what I do, since there's nowhere to put the pen, I slide the pen uh, right here. It so far stayed on for a bit. Maybe I'll put a little bit of um, black duct tape here or, or even electrical tape to create like a pocket that might help keep it in place. And it came with a little charger, so you plug it in to the USB. Mm -hmm. Are there any other features that you like to use? Games? There. Lots of the games are a bit hard to play since it's on a very small screen. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, it's good to carry around with you. Uh, do you give it a thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Well, um, one other thing is... Um, you're able to use your finger on it, but a lot of the times the finger doesn't measure doesn't measure oh, good enough. Since sometimes, see, I'm clicking it, but it's not moving. Okay, so the pen, the little stylus pen is more sensitive than just yes. using your finger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for showing us the capabilities.